Hi, welcome to this example on solving a trig equation. And in this example, we've got solve 2 sine 2 theta plus 8 cos squared 2 theta equals 5 for theta between 0 and 360 degrees inclusive. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, in this example, what we've got here is first of all the same angle so that's okay we've got an angle of 2 theta but what we've got is different trig functions and so what I want to do because I can't factorize this is to put it into the same trig function and I can do that by using an identity we should know this identity that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is identical to 1 Okay, we haven't got theta here, but whatever that angle is, it can be 2 theta, it doesn't matter, as long as it's exactly the same. So I'm going to change it to that identity. Sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of the same angle is identical to 1. So if I rearrange this, I'm going to get that cos squared of the angle, 2 theta, must be identical to 1 minus sine squared of the same angle. 2 theta. So what I need to do in place of the cos squared 2 theta replace it with this and then I'll have a trigonometric equation all in the one trig function. So therefore what we've got is 2 sine 2 theta for the first term plus 8 multiplied by what cos squared 2 theta is identical to which is 1 minus sine squared 2 theta and that is equal to 5. Now I need to just expand the bracket so we'll do that we've got 2 sine 2 theta plus 8 minus 8 sine squared 2 theta equals 5. Now what I've got here is a quadratic equation starting to appear a quadratic equation in sine 2 theta because we've got a squared function here. So because it's quadratic I need to get it in the right format that is get the squared term first so I'm going to add that to both sides so we end up with 8 sine squared 2 theta. Then I'm going to subtract this term from both sides so that becomes minus 2 sine 2 theta and then I've got 5 and I need to subtract the 8 so 5 minus 8 leaves me with minus 3 and that would equal 0. So a quadratic equation in sine 2 theta. Now I'll be trying to look to factorizing this and it does factorize. If it didn't or if we just couldn't factorize it we could always use the quadratic formula. But anyway, it does factorize, and we've got 4 sine 2 theta there, and a 2 sine 2 theta there. That's going to multiply to give me the 8 sine squared 2 theta. I've got two numbers to multiply together to give minus 3, so that will be minus 3 there and a plus 1 there. Just run a check through, and I can see that I'm going to get 4 sine 2 theta minus 6 sine 2 theta which is minus sine 2 theta so yes that's going to be our factorized version. Well, that means that once we factorize this we can put each of these factors equal to naught so we can say that 4 sine 2 theta minus 3 equals naught or the other factor 2 sine 2 theta plus 1 equals naught. Now each of these equations can be solved because they've got the one trig function in, the sine 2 theta. They're going to require quite a bit of space so what I'm going to do is just do each one individually. So we're going to start with when 4 sine 2 theta minus 3 equals naught. And when we have that we would end up with sine 2 theta equaling 3 quarters if we rearrange that. And what I need to do now is inverse sine both sides so that's going to be that 2 theta 
is equal to the inverse sine of 3 quarters. Now at this point, okay, you could get on your calculator, work out what the inverse sine of 3 quarters is. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm just going to draw a quadrant diagram. So draw the quadrant diagram so we can look at all the possible solutions. Start off at 0 degrees here. Now, we've got a range for theta from 0 to 360, but we're dealing with 2 theta, so we need to build a new range for 2 theta. So if we look at the new range, I need to double each of these three intervals. So if I double the naught, you get two noughts and naught, so we have naught degrees. It's less than or equal to, double the theta then, you've got two theta, double the 360, and you've got 720 degrees. So we need all angles for two theta in this range. So what we do is we ask ourselves now, where is sine positive because we've got sine 2 theta equaling plus 3 quarters here and sine is positive in the first quadrant so draw a line marking an angle to the horizontal sine is positive in the first quadrant and it's positive in the second quadrant so we draw another line out there equally inclined to the horizontal mark those two angles in and now we mark the angles we want the possible two thetas. So starting from here, we go around anti-clockwise, two theta. Start again, we go around to the next blue line. That's another possible two theta. Now there, the angles that are within the 0 to 360 degree range. So we just mark those on at the moment. Other ones can come from carrying on turning another 360 degrees from each of these blue lines, but I just don't want to overcrowd the diagram. Okay, so what we do is we get on the calculator and work out a list of values that are possible angles for 2 theta. So I'm going to move over here slightly because it's going to be quite a long list. So if we inverse sine 3 quarters, what you find is that you get... 48.590 and so on degrees. Let's just put that in. 48.590 and so on degrees. Make sure in, you're in degrees mode, by the way. Get your calculator in that mode rather than being in radians. Okay, let's put a comma there. Now, this 48.590 degrees is this little angle in here, this blue bit here, which corresponds to the red 2 theta. I'll just mark it in there. 48.590 and so on degrees. And that means that this angle over here is exactly the same size, 48.590 degrees. So to get the green 2 theta, all I need to do is 180 degrees minus 48.590 degrees. And if you do that, what you get is 131.409 degrees and so on if we don't round up. OK, now the new range was 2 theta could go from 0 to 720. So we've already got this red 2 theta, which was this angle here, 48 odd degrees. I can now carry on and turn another 360 degrees. So if I add 360 degrees to that, what I get is 408.590 and so on. And finally, I need to take the green one here and go round again, a complete turn of 360 degrees. So I need to add 360 degrees to that one. And if I do that, I'm just going to move that out the way. If I add 360 then to that, what I get is 491.409 and so on degrees. And now, if I divide each of these angles by 2, we get theta equals, and we have 24.295, and so on, degrees for that one. Half the 131 odd degrees, and you've got 65.704, and so on, degrees. Half this one, and you've got 204.295, and so on, degrees. 
and finally halve this one and you've got 245.704 and so on degrees. Okay, so that gives us the answers for theta then when 4 sine 2 theta minus 3 equals 0. We've got another one up here to do. This one's going to be a lot easier to do because it's going to lead to some nice clean answers as opposed to decimals. I'll show you anyway. We'll just move this up, okay, to there, and we'll just start this one. So we just put that when 2 sine 2 theta plus 1 equals 0. We can rearrange this and make sine 2 theta the subject. So sine 2 theta equals minus 1 half. In the usual way, inverse sine both sides and you get 2 theta equals the inverse sine of minus a half. And if I draw up a quadrant diagram for this, let's just do it here. Then we start at 0 degrees. Where is sine negative this time? Sine is negative in the third and fourth quadrant. So we draw a line equally inclined down there to the horizontal. Mark those angles in. We want to start from here and go round here. This is a possible 2 theta. Start from here again. Go round all the way round to the next blue line. And so this is another possible 2 theta. Now, when you inverse sine minus a half on your calculator, it comes up with minus 30 degrees. Now, minus 30 degrees is this turn starting from naught in the clockwise direction. So it is a possible solution, but it's not a solution in the range that we want. It's minus because I'm turning in this direction, but in size it is 30 degrees, and it's useful just to see that as 30 degrees, and that means that little bit in there is 30 degrees, and that will enable us now to get the red 2 theta and the green 2 theta. So for the red 2 theta, we can say that 2 theta equals, well, it's going to be 180 degrees plus 30 more degrees, and so that's going to be 210 degrees. And for the green 2 theta, it's going to be a full 360 minus 30. In other words, 330 degrees. Now, because we extended the range up to 720 degrees, then I need to take this angle, which was 210, and go round another 360. So if I add 360 to 210, I get 570 degrees. And... I've also got to add 360 degrees to the 330, this green one. I've got to go round again. So 360 to 330 is 690 degrees. Now I can divide all the angles by 2, and I get theta equals 105 degrees, 165 degrees. Divide that one by 2, and you get 285 degrees and divide the 690 by 2 and you get 345 degrees. So there we have all the answers then to the equation. These ones, I leave it up to you to round them to any accuracy that you like. And these are the exact answers. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this particular example and I hope you've been able to follow that.